One of my proudest moments as a music educator would have been my fifth year here at Eagle when we finally had a music room added to our campus. After teaching many years outside, I thought I was the one that uh, had my hands tied behind my back and uh, all the stresses and troubles that go along with trying to teach music outside, but it, it was truly the students who, um, who suffered through that. And when we had the proper environment, um, the things they did, the accomplishments they made were amazing. It was like watching a caged bird uh, being freed for, for the first time and, and soaring through the sky. I will forever be so proud of those students in that year and I will, I will always reflect on that and, and, and think back to the accomplishments students can make when they're nurtured uh, in the proper environment. My most significant challenge as a music educator was starting at a newly opened school, starting a music program from scratch with no classroom. In fact, my classroom was this Palo Verde tree for shade. I had my dobro, I had this drum, and a parent had brought in some carpet for students to sit on, and this was our music classroom. Uh, we went on to, I went on to teach music outside for the next several years. Um, all kinds of challenges went along with that, from noises, construction across the street, to recess going on, um, to just being in the desert and the various uh, pests that um, naturally live in the desert. I had to be very protective um, to make sure students were safe. Through it all, we, I was able to instruct students and their enthusiasm was amazing. Teaching outside is kind of like having one leg and one arm, arm tied behind your back, but we were still successful and administration took notice and they had a, a roof structure built for us. So now we were still outside, but um, we had something that resembled a music classroom a little bit more closely. After that, uh, a couple more years went by and um, administration and those higher up the ladder at our schools realized that this music program was a, a really big deal and an, an important part of the school and this community and so a music classroom was built um, onto our school. Now we have general music, um, we've had guitar class, choir, and middle school orchestra all added to our program. It has expanded by leaps and bounds since our, our humble beginnings of being outside. I use the ORF approach to music education in almost everything I do. My goal is to usher students into their world of play, which in turn engages them in the way that they most like to learn. Starting with what students know, and then being a guide, um, leading them um, to unlock the secrets or mysteries of music. Um, this approach is very evident in my lessons with kindergarten through fourth grade, but you can also see this in middle school orchestra from sort of a middle school perspective, especially when we're working on the standards of improvisation and composition where students are actively creating. I've also developed my own approach to improvisation, um, to teaching improvisation, uh, start, starting way back in kindergarten and all the way up through uh, middle school orchestra. Um, improvisation is something that's been very important to me as a as a performing guitarist in the Phoenix area and also as a music teacher. Um, sharing that joy of unlocking the secrets of improvisation is something that I feel is very important for my students, but I also believe it's important um, as a way to honor our country and our jazz roots.